Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, if you're new here. We're here to get messages about your SP, your specific person, their current thoughts, feelings, energies, and intentions towards you, as well as some channeled messages to see what they would like to say to you towards the end of the video. All right, and if you guys ever want like a more in-depth look, head over to my channel. I have a pick a card playlist and a pop-up reading playlist. Those are longer and you can just scroll through. I've made it real easy for everybody. You can just kind of scroll through and see if any of them call out to you, okay? All right, you guys, there's a lot to pick apart here. Hold up a second. I had to kind of arrange these cards. We have Leo energy coming out as well as Pisces energy and Cancer energy, okay? We have the queen, or excuse me, not the queen, the page of swords, the moon, judgment, queen of wands, um, the wheel of fortune. Sorry, you guys, I got a text that popped up on my screen. It distracted me. I'm not even going to lie. And then we have the ten of pentacles. Okay, so your person sees you as a very, like, almost like dominating energy. You might be the type of person that um, doesn't take crap from anybody, okay? Essentially, that's how your person is perceiving you. Whether or not that's how you feel on the inside, that is their perception of you. That you are a total badass, that you don't take crap from anybody, and that you know what you want in this world and you're willing to work for it, okay? Whereas I'm seeing that your person is a little bit more closed off emotionally. They have a difficult time expressing themselves authentically in this world. They kind of almost look to you as somebody to admire, okay? They're looking at you as the type to wear your heart on your sleeve. They look to you as kind of like a, a beacon of light on how to be more confident in this world. It's kind of cute, to be honest. Like, your person really puts you up there on a pedestal and thinks that you are an awesome person, okay? There's something that they've done in this connection that they know has hurt you in one way shape or form and they know that you deserve some type of justice in that matter okay they want to come in and ask for forgiveness for whatever that is and turn things around your person's just feeling really guilty about something that they said or did towards you at the end of the day they could see having a happy ending and like a stable grounded commitment with you um, but they know that they have a lot of inner work that they need to do first before they're going to feel ready to do that and one of those things is asking you for forgiveness okay so just keep keep that in mind. I'm gonna let you read that yourself. Okay. They're impressed by you. I told you that they think you're extremely impressive. They're not over you. If you questioned that they're not over you, they're not over this connection. If it's somebody from the past, they really look to you for guidance. They think you're super smart, charismatic, attractive, bold, confident. Okay. They don't know if you feel the same way about them. Bottom line. They're not sure. I do think that your person intends on coming in and clearing the air with you. It's going to start off with them asking for forgiveness or some type of, um, so just some type of an apology essentially, but with the underlying goals of hopefully having a reconnection with you on a deeper level. So if the reading resonated, don't forget to like, and subscribe, stick around for more in the future. You, my dear are a bright shining light. And I hope you know that. And I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.